And while we are updating this PC, we also want to update our Windows Phone. It's downloading updates at 28%. .28%. There's my phone, Windows Phone. We want to go to our Settings app. And first, let's check. It's going to be the same build. We're currently on build 14.9.05 as, as on the PC. So we're going to go to About. And then we're going to, oh, that's Apps associated with websites. So I'm going to click About. So now you can see Device Information. We're going to click More Info. And you can see we are at Build, OS Build 10.0. 14905. So we are going to update to 14915. Let's see how the PC is doing. We're at 39 or 40 percent. Very awesome. So we're going to download the update. Um, go back. Let's go to update and recovery or update and security. And I'm going to go to phone update. There's the update screen. Up, your phone is up to date. Last check today at 4. 30 a.m. Well, that's when the bill wasn't there, but now the bill is here. So we're going to click check for updates. Again, that's traveling dot thingy. If it arrives, if it's visible, I don't know. But yeah, checking for updates. There it is. And let's see how the PC is doing. We are at 50%. We are at Windows 10 Insider Preview Update Status. We are at almost, uh, actually at uh, yeah, 87%, we're almost at 90%. At the same time, let's check on our phone. Uh, we're downloading updates here. So 10.0, uh, Windows 10 update available. Uh, update uh, version 10.0.14915. We're at 2% downloading this update. And also several gigabytes. So two gigabytes worth of updates are being downloaded here. Alright guys, time to update Windows 10 Mobile again. I had to I had to pause this, pause the download and because I had to leave. So we're gonna have to restart the Windows 10 mobile update process. Let's get started. Alright, we are in now, so let's go to settings let's do ease of access not not ease of access update and security I'm going to do phone update let's see what it says okay so again i paused it so it says update available update bill 104915 i hope the wi-fi works after this unlike uh, unlike the surface pro which totally messed up we'll download the update for for next time you're plugged in so or just click the download button to do it now let's do that that's my battery is at uh, is at 29 percent it won't let me do the actual update until i get to 40 percent so i'm gonna have to charge this i'll charge this while this downloads so we'll be back guys by the way guys uh before you keep before i uh, forget one of the things that this update is supposed to fix was an issue with the current build and that was apps that were that I attempted to move or that the user attempts to move from the SD card card to the internal storage or vice versa from the internal storage to the SD card would actually get stuck in a pending state which would mean the apps completely broken there's nothing you could do to fix it other than uninstalling from the settings app and you had to reinstall that means you'd lose all the data so this is an app that got stuck Cineplex is another app um, Pocket Tanks was another app. I had to. I tried uninstalling and reinstalling. That's how I fixed it. Minecraft is stuck as well. Disney Crossy Road. G H I J K L M. Minecraft. Microsoft Solitaire Collection. All these things are stuck. So what I want to check this Pocket Tanks is whether. I could recover my apps and the data by updating to the newer build because Microsoft stated that this this problem is fixed in the newer build. If it doesn't get fixed, that means um, the only uh, it's although the problem doesn't exist in the newer build, these apps are stuck forever and will need to be uninstalled. So that is a bit of a problem, but I hope this should this shouldn't be a problem. We'll find out. All right, folks, it has downloaded the updates, so we are at. Uh, the install phase but it says to install the updates we need your battery charge to 40 percent well let's do that and we'll come back after that's done inshallah and do you think the battery is sufficiently charged 
Let's find out. We are at 52%. I think we're good. Log in. Let's open up the settings app. We're going to go to update and security, phone update. Oh, look at that. Yep, it was the dot thingy. Now it says update status. A restart is scheduled to finish installing the updates. Oh, your device is scheduled to restart outside of the active hours. It is outside the active hours. Uh, it's very early in the morning. It's 1 58 a.m. Been busy working, so I decided to check on this. I apparently did the installing by itself. Remember, it it's wouldn't install. I didn't have to press anything, so it finished installing, and I missed the opportunity to record it because it did it by itself. And if I hadn't come out earlier, it would have actually restarted automatically and updated for me. So, thank God that I was able to catch it. So, you're going to do it manually and click restart now. Let's see how this works. Let's update this Windows phone. Update all the way. It says goodbye. It's going to say goodbye for a while. It, it, I don't know how long it takes to restart. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. Sometimes it takes a minute. So when it restarts, I'll be back. Inshallah. It would vibrate. You could see the Nokia label here. This is the last Nokia phone ever built. Uh, now we should see the Windows logo for a second and then the gear icons, the cogs, they'll spin and the update process will happen. And then, sh oh, there you go, the Windows logo flashed. Next is the cogs. There we go. Windows phone is updating. There's the cogs. Very nice, very nice. The small progress bar will fill up slowly and sh but surely. Guys, it has restarted. The cog thing has finished. Let's see where we go from there. It's the Nokia logo and the Windows logo. It's blue, by the way. It looks white if I do this. But let's see. We should see the migrating status now. Unless it actually finished, which I doubted it, so. Alright guys, it has finished installing the, or the loading or booting. Now it says almost done. Will be, it'll be, and it'll, almost done and it'll be worth the wait migrating your data step one of seven nine percent so this is going to take a while so once this is done we'll be back soon inshallah all right guys i think it finished updating you could see the glance screen no it went away now oh it's back but you can't see it on the video because it's too dark yes we are in so now guys we have wi-fi working oh thank god because I wouldn't be able to uninstall this build. You can't go back to previous builds in the mobile. You'd have to do a full system reset. You, uh, you have to reflash the system using a software recovery tool. Um, but uh, Wi-Fi is working, so Alhamdulillah it's working. Um, because if the internet's working, um, if even if there are other bugs, you could you could actually update to a newer build. But if the internet's not working, you're completely stuck. But anyway, uh, so let's take a look at what's new in this build or in the new on this build uh, I there were some new sounds in the previous build which I haven't showed you guys so I will explore the new sounds in Windows and mobile and we're going to talk about the known issues and improvements but that's for the not for another video so if you want to check that video out please click the link on this video and we will be on our way so this is the end of the upgrade video the next new feature video is up next stay tuned to Nasmus Labs